Hey Red Hawks, so let's go ahead and get started on our project. Now, like I said, materials needed. You need your paper, a ruler, your markers. We're focusing on primary colors, so you just need your primaries and a black, okay? Let's get started. Now, you can create your own lines to create your, your um, squares and rectangles, or you can just follow along with me. It's up to you. So I'm gonna put one that goes straight across my paper and I'm using a ruler so I make a nice straight line, okay? And I'm gonna turn my paper. I'm going to make another one. Bring it all the way to the end of the paper. I think I'm gonna then make this one a line right here in the middle and split it so it's kind of even. Do my best. Okay. And I'm going to do one here. That's just the width of my ruler. So I'm just going to put the ruler here, have it straight, and just use that width from that line to that line. So now I have that one. And I'm going to do one here. And remember, you're, you don't have to follow how I did my lines in your paper. As long as you have created your rectangles and your squares, you are good to go because we are focusing on making art like Payette Mondrian. Okay, I'm gonna leave mine like this. I think I'm happy with it. You know what? I'm gonna do one more line actually. I'm gonna do one here. Well, I don't like how big that space was. Now I'm happy. Okay, so we're focusing on our primaries and you can color it in any way you want but just remember you want to have some white spaces so it looks similar to his work now I'm gonna go ahead and get my black lines so I use the pencil first because if I start with marker and I mess up can I erase it no so you always start with pencil y'all so if you do make a mistake you can erase so now I'm just going over my pencil marks. Slowly, think about craftsmanship, y'all. I wanna keep it nice and neat. And see how I turn my paper? I just make it easier for myself. If you just turn your paper as you work, the angle and direction you need it to be, it's a lot easier than keeping it still and trying to work with it. So that's why you always see me moving my paper around. Okay. I have my outline. Now, I need to color in my shapes. You can color yours in like I did, or you can do it any other way you want, but don't forget, leave some white. So I'm gonna start with my blue. I'm gonna put this rectangle blue. And now notice that I'm going around the edge of this rectangle. It's a lot easier to go ahead and do that border line of the color you want. That way you can go kind of a little bit quicker and faster without getting out of the lines. It's kind of like an extra protection to help you stay in the lines. Okay, so I have my blue rectangle. I'm gonna make this square red and again, to help me stay in the lines, I'm gonna do the first that little border line. And then fill it in. And I always use my markers at an angle so it is nice and thick and I can go further distances with the color instead of just using the, the tip of the marker. Okay, and my yellow. I'm going to have this one yellow.
And then I'm going to make this yellow. So I need to leave some white. What I'm gonna do is take my ruler, because I don't like how big these are, so I'm actually going to make another line. I'm gonna make one here, and I'm gonna make one I'm gonna make one here. All right. So, I would like to color in this one red. Lastly, I'm going to make this small one I just created blue. Okay, what do you guys think? First project of the week. We have made our geometric abstraction art using simple elements of art line, shape, and our colors. Who remembers what colors we focused on? Yes, I hope you said the right one. Primary colors. All right, y'all, I hope you had a fun time. Remember, your art does not have to look exactly like mine. As long as you are following the steps, you can change them up and use your own creativity and your uniqueness to make your own art. I hope y'all had fun. Bye.